Hello everybody. <clears throat> so I am replacing an end to a old extension cord. Extension cord itself is in good shape. Just uh, one of these ends broke off one of the pegs, so we're gonna go ahead and cut it off. Put a different end on it. Just use these nippers here. Throw the other one in the scrap bin. I'll set that aside. We're going to go ahead and take a replacement outland end apart so we can get an idea of what we're looking at. Nothing much to it. Here's what we're looking at here. going to do so we can see how far back we should be stripping. Let's kind of get an idea of what we're looking at here. This is just something I like to do. So let's see where we'll be tightening some screws to put our loose wires in. Since we want to grip the outside in, we're only going to strip back enough to fit up to here. So, we could probably go about half that distance and it should give us enough cable without bend too bad. About right there. Now we try not to get the insulation underneath, so just kind of give this a light strike usually with a sharp razor. There we go. Just pop that off. Wires separate. There's a razor. And this paper here, we'll go ahead and either rip it out. Sometimes you'll have a little fiberglass packing in there. You just kind of take your nippers and nip it fairly close. Try not to hit the wires, of course. What you can do is set your wire up like that. And that gives you an idea how far you should be stripping it. There we go. So we're looking at now. Go ahead and twist these tight. Sure to feed our wires through the end here. We'll take a screwdriver. These clamps are open. Green. Is usually ground on your extension cord. It goes to this fat peg right here, this fat round one. I don't care what these colors say on the back. I never trust them because too many times someone has either misstamped them or something. So always make sure they're lining up to the appropriate peg. Okay. Stick it in there, just like that. Snug it up. Now on these, what we're going to do is we're going to look at an outlet. And the reason for that is you'll notice one that's wider, one that's smaller. So when we grab it, now I'm not saying plug this into a live outlet. Obviously don't. See, I got another outlet in for showing and I'm just doing this for display but you see how that's going to line in there we see that this one right here is going to be the small peg or the small uh, blade the small blade goes to black again I don't care what colors these say back here as long as you're getting those wires where they're supposed to go the wide peg should be white small peg should be back 
because that's what this one will be where it is. This wide blade will be white, small plug black. The reason you're doing that is then you're not crossing grounds because in your breaker box, if you've ever looked at the blocks, you'll see the wide peg and this round peg, the ground and the white wire, will almost always share a same block. But the hot side, which is the black, won't. AC can be wired backwards and still function, so that isn't a good indication that it's wired right, which is why you got to be really careful. Because what you can lead into is a dangerous condition where you're actually feeding. Oop, be careful of that wire there. His head, we're sticking out. But you can lead into a potentially dangerous situation where it backfeeds electricity to a ground instead of feeding any electricity straight to ground because then this live wire would share something with that ground which could potentially share a side with that ground which then instead of shooting it to earth shoots it through you so that's why this is such an important thing to be certain of even if it functions correctly or your machine like your drill or something would function so always keep that in mind This last wire is always kind of hard to get in these if you're trying to do this nice tight. Yep, see, screwed up already. Sometimes if you want to make this easier on yourself, you can solder these ends so they're uh, a little easier to manage. But just like that. Tighten that up, nice and snug. You just don't want to get too crazy here with tightening, so I have broke these before. I just like to go around these a little bit more of a final snug, just so I know they're good. Now we get our end up. If you look at your end, it does have a little. Let's see if I can get that camera. You'll have a little alignment deal in there that you want to line up on this. See, there's a little groove right there. So we try to get that nice and line. So we know it's going to sit in there. Go ahead and tighten this up. Don't want to run that down all the way tight. Just want to get that one snug first. Now we want to go ahead and get this clamp here. Tighten that. This will stop the wires from getting pulled out. Of course, you'd be alternating sides here, left and right. Try to get that clamping force as even as you can. Now this part, you can get too tight. I've seen people get these so tight, they've cut the wires beneath the insulation. So right now, we're not too tight. We're still pretty loose, actually. Just showing you. It's pretty loose. So you're starting to get some squish. We can go a little further. You could leave it there, but this older cord has a lot of that paper in it that uh, can take quite a bit of compression before it gets snug. There we go. See, we got smashed, but we didn't go too crazy with it. So I'll stop from pulling out of this out. That's all there is to it. Um, Electricity is some dangerous stuff. If you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. Uh, always have someone that knows what they're doing do this. And new extension cords are cheap. And being cheap is no excuse to do something you don't know. Especially in regards to electricity. Because if you wire this wrong, you can actually give a potential dangerous situation to someone else who may use this cord. Like I said, if you end up reversing those wires, the machine that you plug it into will still work. It just no longer will be working in a safe fashion. Well, I hope that helps everybody out there who's ever wondered, you know, what orientation that's supposed to be, or if you just were interested in watching this for fun. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.